everyone. Okay, so today I'm finally doing a tutorial. Oh, it's been so long. I'm doing this eye look. I'm using all eyeshadows from the Meet Matte Nude palette, which I've talked about. I talked about it in my last favorites video. It's by The Balm. I really, really like this. This is pretty much like my standby, go-to kind of matte look. It's a lot like my Wet n Wild Drugstore Perfect Matte tutorial but in that tutorial I was using a limited edition palette and obviously that one's not available all the time this one is available I definitely recommend this one the size of the shadows is awesome this is probably gonna last me forever I really really like it I obviously like this eye look as well you probably noticed in a lot of my videos recently and yeah I said that I would do this tutorial so now I'm doing it and I hope you enjoy it here it comes Hello Matte, I've got my shadows here. First I'm going to be using Matte Malloy and Matte Lombardi and it's kind of like a white and then kind of a yellow tone beige color and I mix those together using my finger because I'm fancy like that and I'm using that to highlight my brow bone area. Now I'm going back with just a little bit of that Matte Malloy white color and using it to highlight my inner corner. Now I'm going back to Matte Lombardi again with the finger and I'm putting that all over my lid. I'm kind of just packing it on because I want it to be totally opaque. It looks really yellowy in the pan, but it totally works with my skin tone. I could see it working with a lot of different skin tones. Now I'm using a blending brush and I'm going to use Matte S. I'm sorry Matte S, I don't know how to say your last name and I'm not gonna try to butcher it. I absolutely love this color. I love it for blending with so many different looks. It's kind of pink, but it's also kind of a beige also. I don't know. I just love it. I'm putting it all over in the crease and then kind of bringing it down in kind of a V shape in the outer corner. Now I'm going back with the same fluffy blending brush and I'm using Matte Rosen. It's one of the lightest browns that comes in this palette and I'm just using it to deepen that outer corner area. Now I'm using a tiny little brush and the color Matte Wood which is the darkest brown that comes in this palette and I'm just putting that into the crease and kind of down in that V shape just to deepen the outer corner even more. Now I'm bringing back my big fluffy blending brush and just blending out what I just did. I didn't add any color but I'm just blending it more, more blending. Now I'm bringing in a little bit more matte S and just blending further. Next I'm using my finger in matte Lombardi again and kind of just brightening up that area in case it got a little bit muddled through all the blending and the blending and the blending. Now I'm using this copper eyeliner by Wet n Wild and I'm just running that along my bottom lash line just about halfway in. Now I'm going back with that little brush and the color matte Garcia to kind of just set that liner color. Is it just me or is it getting weird that these are like guys names. Anyway, now I'm using a white eyeliner pencil just to brighten up my bottom waterline. Then I use a black liner pencil to do my tight line. Now it's time to do my brows and I'm just using this Tweezer Man brow pencil in kind of a generic color. I don't even know what it's called. This part's pretty out of focus but you can see what's going on. It's just lots of filling in of the brows. Now I'm going in with a little spoolie and I'm softening that up. And then I'm using my brow powder by Wet n Wild and I'm just using that middle color. Filling, filling, filling. I wish I had some kind of song I could sing you right now about eyebrows, but I don't, so moving on. Now I'm using a clear mascara kind of product. I do not like this kind of mascara, but I do like to use it to set my brows. Next I'm using some black liquid liner. You know I love it. You know I gotta have it. I really like this one. It's by The Balm. Um, I really like the tip. It's really thin and it gives me a lot of control. I'm doing pretty much just my basic winged liner look. I, that's gonna depend on your eye. You gotta do what works for you. I'm doing what works for me. And this is what it looks like. At last, it's time for curling my lashes and adding more mascara. This is a very important step to me. I hold it near and dear to my heart. I'm doing the top and bottom lashes and yeah you've seen this before you know how it goes now I'm using these Revlon strip lashes and I'm cutting them in half to make my own half lashes I just love half lashes I don't even know I'm using this little clampy thing and dark glue blowing on it like a professional and applying the lash I have a video about applying half lashes maybe I'll link it down below Hello boys. And the last step is just to add a little bit more mascara to mold your lashes with the false lash. And boom, I'm done. I like it. 
All right, and that's the whole tutorial. Pretty easy, right? If you don't have the exact same colors that I use, you can just improvise and do what works best for you and just work with what you've got. Makes sense, right? I don't know. Anyway, one thing that I did not mention is what I have on my lips. I have the uh, Revlon Balm Stain and Honey, pretty much everyday favorite for a really, really long time. If you've been watching me for a while, you know this. And I'm also wearing a lip liner. I just decided to kick it up a notch and just impress you to death. Fancy pants. It's the NYX Nude Pink Lip Liner. These two work well together. I like it. Hello. I listed all the products down below in the description. Leave me any questions or comments or whatever down below. And you could also hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or Tumblr or wherever. It's Leanne Says absolutely anywhere. I'm really easy to find. Always happy to talk to you guys. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you're also welcome to do that. Just press a button somewhere around here. You can find it. And yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. And it's advertised as finally great color without odor. Um, I saw that and I thought, hey, that's a little too good to be true. I gotta try it. That's like a huge claim because every self tanner, no matter how expensive and how awesome it smells when you first put it on, you get a little bit, at least a little bit of that self tanner smell. And so I was like, hey, drugstore product, if you have somehow cracked the code to the universe and you know how to not make it smell, I'm all for it. I will be back on your team, Jurgens, in a hot minute.